Computerizing a Manual Bookkeeping System series from Now Explain. This presentation is linked with the Now Explain Manual Bookkeeping series of videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find the manual bookkeeping version of this video there. This presentation will use the same data as that used in the manual bookkeeping series, and so customer, supplier, and general ledger balances will all be numerically the same. The ultimate goal is to provide you with a way of comparing a manual bookkeeping system to a computerized bookkeeping system. This presentation will show you how the operation of a computerized bookkeeping system will differ to a manual bookkeeping system. So, Bank Payments Daybook, what it is and why we need this daybook. Manual bookkeeping, no computers here. It's pen and paper bookkeeping, using daybooks, the books of original entry, also known as first entry or prime entry daybooks. We are collecting information from the source documents. Computerized bookkeeping, we're replacing paper books. Computer and bookkeeping software, no spreadsheets allowed. Source documents are required. Everything is integrated and linked. Duplication is removed. You will record much more detail. There's no column limits as with a paper book. Related daybooks. Purchase invoice daybook. Purchase credit note daybook. Bank receipts daybook. Similar and related terms used. Suppliers, creditors, accounts payable. Money out, electronic funds transfer, EFT. Payment, disbursement, check. We don't need a handwritten daybook anymore. Here is an example of a bank payments daybook. Here is some source documents, a completed check. Here's our bank statement. Bank payments, checks or electronic transfers. Here's where our bank payment details are shown on our bank statement. Here is the bank statement with an explanation of the payments. The 1st, the 15th and 31st of January transactions are checks written by the business. These are checks 1 to 3 from the checkbook. The bank statement will not show who the checks were paid to. Who this was paid to should have been written on the check stub. You will have given an instruction to the bank to transfer an amount of money to the director's bank account. You would have had to supply your bank with the bank account details to transfer, pay the money to them. Here's a manual handwritten bank payments daybook. Here are the bank payments on the bank statement with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the bank statement and from the checkbook. We now have on-screen displays, so there's no need for paper books. We can have on-screen or printed reports. Here is all bank payments, a screen printed report. We can then separate out the types of bank payments. We can have supplier only payments listings and non-supplier payments listings. Here are the bank payments on the bank statement with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the bank statement. This is where we create our bank payments to mirror the same way as it was done manually in our bank payments daybook. The bank payment data entry screen and here it is completed. This is the key difference between a manual bookkeeping system and a computerized system. We only need to enter the data once on this data entry screen and then every other ledger, supplier ledger and all general ledger accounts are updated for you automatically by the software. Entering a non-supplier payment in our bookkeeping software. A bank payment is a credit entry into a bank account, so we must first choose our bank account. The date of the bank payment. The month that this payment is being posted to. A text or description for the number. We're using the FT. 
the supplier. Where a payment is not related to a supplier, we leave this empty to indicate a non-supplier account payment. Currency. If you pay in, out in another currency, you will record the value in that currency. Notes. Additional information that may be useful. This is optional. In our manual bank payments daybook, we have analysis columns. With our bookkeeping software, we simply choose the general ledger code, the analysis code. Note, they are debit account transaction entries. Entering a supplier bank payment in our bookkeeping software. A bank payment is a credit entry into a bank account, so we must first choose our bank account. The date of this bank payment. The months that we're posting this payment to. The number, our text description. The supplier, where a payment is a supplier, we enter the supplier's account code. The currency, if you pay out in another currency, you can record the value in that currency. Notes, any additional information that be, may be useful, and it's optional. In our biannual bank payments daybook, we have analysis columns. With our bookkeeping software, we simply choose the general ledger account code or the analysis code. And in this case, 810, the creditor's control account, is automatically filled in for us. Note, it's a debit account transaction entry. We can enter the same information that was recorded in the manual bookkeeping system into our computerized bookkeeping software, but with our bookkeeping software, our supplier ledger cards are immediately updated with the bank payment. Our bank general ledger account is immediately updated with the supplier payments. Our general ledger creditors control account is immediately updated with the supplier payments. Computerized bookkeeping takes away the need for writing the same bank payment into different ledgers. When you enter a bank payment, all the linked ledgers are updated immediately. The supplier ledger card, the general ledger bank account, the general ledger purchases control account or creditor's ledger, and other general ledger account codes. Also, any bank payment or supplier report is now ready to be seen on screen or printed. What you have learned. A computerized system allows for more detail to be entered with every bank payment transaction. Each transaction entry updates every ledger immediately. A computerized system will allow for immediate bank and supplier reporting. Thank you for watching.